Hey, it's Marshmallow back with a new video. Today, we're still talking about domestic abuse, but we're not talking about Aaron today. <gasps> Marshmallow can talk about something other than Aaron Carter. I think hell is freezing over. I actually spoke on this couple like a year ago or something it was a while ago janelle evans or janelle eason and her psychopath i mean sorry her husband david eason Whew. they're the definition of an abusive relationship am i right i was going to continue like updating on janelle since my last video and i was going to recap the newest season of teen mom 2 which at the time was what season 9a i think they've been going on for forever now but I never updated on Janelle and I did not do Teen Mom 2 recaps. And the reason why I didn't, with Teen Mom 2, after Janelle was kicked off, let's be real, I watched a couple episodes, but it kind of got boring. Janelle kind of made the show, but what was going on in her world wasn't good TV drama. It was child abuse, child neglect, animal abuse, and domestic violence. No one wants to watch that, especially if it's supposed to be real. Teen Mom 2 kind of got boring. From what I caught, Kaylin had another baby with the guy she said was a deadbeat father. Mm-hmm, okay. Javi cheated on his wife. Shocker. Chelsea was dealing with anxiety. Bullsh**. Adam, the meth head. The question, oh, is Lee and Jeremy gonna get back together? Oh, we never know. Let's continue to flirt in front of our very young daughter, Adeline, who wants us to get back together and is just tormenting her. And then Brianna, oh, I just couldn't. And then Jade from Teen Mom Young and Pregnant came on. I don't know, it's a mess. In my opinion, I think Teen Mom 2 and Teen Mom OG, even though I've never been a big fan of Teen Mom OG. I think it spiraled once they brought in the new moms. I mean, it made their time on screen like two seconds. And I'm the type, I like the original people. I don't like changes, okay? Especially if it's been going on for so long. I don't know, Teen Mom 2 just got boring and I kind of got sick and tired of watching these grown ass adults who are my age, like almost 30. I mean, I'm, a, I'm 21, just kidding do nothing except for making poor irresponsible decisions all of them are just living off mtv money how did that work for janelle i'm just wondering okay and then they keep popping out babies with these deadbeat dads and with my situation with wanting to have a baby but it being damn near impossible to have one it just pissed me off i couldn't stand to watch it anymore i really couldn't I'm not saying all the moms are bad. I think Chelsea is a phenomenal mom. Exclude her. Everyone else, I just, I couldn't deal. And the whole thing with Amber, like what the, why is she still on the show? I don't know. The whole thing just got annoying, so I quit watching it. I actually started watching Teen Mom Young and Pregnant instead, which is still frustrating, especially that Rachel character. She's like the Amber and Janelle of Teen Mom Young and Pregnant, you know? Those moms annoyed me as well, especially like with my situation. How can these people have kids and I can't type of thing? But they're younger. Apparently that was canceled. So there goes my idea to talk about that. So what can you do? Let me tell you something. I watched the Grace Report and I love her. She's great. I commend her because she really stays true to her craft. I don't know how she could bear to watch every single Teen Mom 2 and OG episode and recap it. I couldn't bear to do it. So shouts out to you, Grace, because I couldn't do it. I love the Grace Report. Anyways, I'm already on a roll. I'm not here to talk about the other mom's bad decisions for the show. I am talking about Janelle and her husband, David, and their situation. The last time I talked about them was when David brutally killed their dog, Nugget sweet little French bulldog because Nugget nipped, keyword nipped, Ensley, their at the time two-year-old daughter in the face. I still say it's bogus that he killed the dog because I mean, Ensley was in its face. David was filming the whole situation. That's where you, David, should have said, Ensley, don't do that. Toddlers are gonna do things, you know, pet it too rough or do little things some toddlers do, you know, it's just a toddler thing. They have to learn gentle touch and stuff. Again, that's when the parents say, no, don't do that. But instead, this guy brutally killed the dog. The dog will be a danger to any family, so um, I had to kill it like I just had to. No, you could have easily given it to a family that didn't have children, because what the f is a tiny French bulldog gonna do to a grown-ass adult? 
I would have took Nugget David. That whole thing still really angers me. The kids were taken away the last video I talked about, and so that's where it was left off. Since then, what has happened? Well, Janelle's Pitbull Jax disappeared. There's so many stories. The other Pitbull, I think Pumpkin, they had another dog, which is their current dog, Junior's brother. Both of those dogs and Jax just up and disappeared. Disappeared. Vanished. Aliens abducted him and Peanut. Jax, oh, they ran to the end of the driveway. They were just gone. Someone must have stolen them. I highly doubt three dogs were stolen randomly. I really, really doubt it. Pretty sure David killed it. I mean, he had text messages the day Nugget died saying he had to hide the dogs. Them. Plural. Just side note, you know what's really sick? If you go on David's Instagram, that mother still has a folder of Nugget and Jax. Psychopath. I saw that and my stomach just turned. I wanted to throw up. The kids, somehow, the judge ordered the kids to go back to the land. And how frightening is that? Why would you allow them to go back? I don't get it. That judge, whoever did it, I hope you sleep well at night. So let's rewind time. October, November 2019, the world was shocked. Janelle left David. What? She took the kids and left. They moved to the Nashville, Tennessee area while David and Marissa stayed at the land or the swamp, whatever you want to call it, in North Carolina. I was very happy but also confused because what changed her mind? If him brutally killing your dog and you losing your kids because of his actions, why did you stay then but leave now? Well, a few months ago. She went and got a PFA on David. She told the judge he was very controlling, abusive. She showed text messages of him threatening to like eat this guy's head in and feed it to Janelle because he was jealous, thought she had a boyfriend. Any normal text, a normal sane husband or person would send to someone, right? Mm -hmm. She also told a story about how David kept locking Kaiser in the car. He was like five at the time. She also told the judge she was scared for her and her kid's life because of all the weapons David has. That guy has more weapons and ammunition than a f military base. I'm all about Second Amendment. You don't need that much. Like, calm down, bro. It's just a lunatic. During this time that she was gone, her and Nathan were actually getting along. There was a photo that leaked of them. The picture you can tell was so staged or set up. Let me just slide over here. You see him? Yeah, yep, that's Nathan. Hey, David, does that make you mad? Yep, we're skating together. Hey, I'm probably gonna give him a blowy later. Like, come on now. But it was nice for Kaiser's sake, especially that they were finally getting along for like the first time since Kaiser was born. Nathan has been trying to get full custody of Kaiser. He ended up dropping the full custody notion. His main concern was David. So Janelle left David, oh, I'll drop it. Keep that in mind. Not just Nathan though, Janelle was getting along with Barb. I remember seeing on Thanksgiving a picture of Janelle, Barb, the kids, and then two random people in Nashville. And they looked so happy, especially the kids. It made me happy to see. And I love Barb. I am a huge Barb fan. David was just, you know, going crazy on the internet, saying he never loved Janelle. Janelle was lazy and dumb. He did everything for the kids. She didn't have a bond with Marissa, her stepdaughter, and that she didn't even have a bond with her own biological children. Kind of obvious with Jace. Apparently didn't have a bond with Kaiser or Ensley as well. Now, David, okay, you said you were never in love with her and she didn't have a bond with your daughter. Okay, and then she's lazy and dumb and everything that Kaiser knows is because of you. Okay, okay. Why did you marry her then? Why did you have a kid with her? Dumb it. I've said it since day one. Actually, I used to like David. The very beginning, I actually kind of liked him. My mind changed real fast when I realized how insane he was, when the red flags started popping up and whatever. I've said it since basically day one. He just wanted that teen mom to money. That's all he wanted. Speaking of teen mom to money, Janelle stated David is the reason why she couldn't live in a bougie area in Tennessee. An area that was bougie and all the celebrities lived because, you know, she's a celebrity. But she couldn't afford it because she was still paying everything on the land while David just sat on his ass and, you know, 
probably. There is some speculation that maybe Janelle would go back on Teen Mom 2, so the main reason why she got off of it was because of David. At the time, I was like, I kind of hope so, because, I mean, their ratings would probably get better. But for me, like I said, I'm a huge Barb fan. I love Barb, and I want to see Jace and Kaiser and Ensley. I want to see how the kids are doing. That's the only reason why I even keep up with these people is because of the kids. And I wonder, will Janelle apologize to the moms? All these people that she talked on for being concerned for her safety with David, would she apologize? Would she reach out? Would they be okay again, at least on speaking terms? But then Janelle dropped the PFA. We all saw it coming. I was hoping not, but I should have known better. I should have known it wasn't gonna last. She's the type that cannot go without a guy. I mean, look at her history. She's never been single, but even during the separation, she had a boyfriend, Herbert. I'm pretty sure that was his name, Herbert. I'll get back to Herbert. This picture leaked of David, Janelle, and Ensley at Nashville. And everyone was like, oh, they're back together. And she's like, no, no, we're not. But I had to drop the PFA for Ensley. Okay, I thought you were like protecting your kid's safety. I'm just saying, but. And then Janelle posted her first Q&A where she stated she was single. Are you single? Yes, I am single as hell. I was just so glad she left, you know? She looked happy. I was really hoping that she wouldn't go back, that she would be smart and do the right thing. Don't replace David with another psychotic guy. Again, I don't know what happened with Herbert, but I was hoping that she would just stay single and focus on herself and her kids for once in her life. A lot of people thought it was fake or a publicity stunt to get back on TV since Janelle was basically blackballed from television. A lot of people thought it was fake because they didn't see the paperwork, but I was giving her the benefit of the doubt. In some states, you can't get divorced right away. I think in Pennsylvania, where I live, I think you can divorce right away. I don't think you have to be separated for a certain amount of time. I don't know. I've never been divorced, so I can't tell you. I do know in certain states, you do have to be separated for so long or whatever. So I was giving her the benefit of the doubt until on David's Instagram, he posted a picture of this baby goat. Later on, I saw in Janelle's Instagram story or Snapchat story, I don't know, one of the two, I saw her holding that same goat. And then on her Twitter, she's like, uh -huh, I love life. Uh -huh, I'm so happy. Yeah. Already she caved? Are you serious? Yes. <laughs> what? Maybe it was fake, but why? Was it to try to get back on Teen Mom 2? Was it to get Nathan to drop his fight for full custody? What was it? But if it is real and David talked her into coming back, that could be very, very bad. You left me, show you not to leave me again, bitch. I cannot feel 100% bad for her. She continues to put herself in these situations. She's lied so many times, no one knows when she's telling the truth. And she keeps putting her kids into that situation. I can't feel bad for someone like that. Now you're on Instagram and Twitter being like, he's the best father and best husband ever. Wait, who? Are we? Are we still talking about David? David Eason is the best husband and father ever? Are you back on heroin, girl? Like, what the f What is so great about David? Personality. He's not that very smart. And he's ugly. Like, he's not even attractive. Like, I don't understand. I think Janelle just loves the misery. She loves the chaos. Who the f allowed him to get that goat? And also, their dog, Junior. I saw this post. He said, dogs are meant to be loved on and kissed in the face and just all this stuff. My brain turned into mashed taters. Coming from him, that's rich. I have no words. It made me sick. Yes, you're right, David. Dogs are meant to be treated like family, not brutally killed like you did with Nugget. Where was that love for Nugget? Nugget. Where was the training for Nugget? What would happen if Junior one day gets annoyed with Ensley being all up in his face or petting him too hard or pulling on his tail? What then? Because clearly Janelle and David are, are not teaching Ensley to be gentle or they weren't with Nugget. Let me tell y'all a story. A long time ago in a faraway land. No, no. When my parents were younger, first couple years in their marriage, they had a dog. I'm pretty sure my oldest brother was a baby, so I was not even thought of yet. One day, this dog ended up biting one of the neighborhood kids on the butt through the fence. Randomly, they had to take it to a farm. We all know that's keywords for having to put it down. Come to find out that this kid was hitting their dog with a stick through 
through the fence and the dog snapped. One of the neighbors told my parents that after they already got rid of the dog. Hey, just so you know, little Billy down the street has been coming and hitting your dog with a stick and teasing it. Obviously the dog snapped. Cause that dog was fine around my brother who was a baby. It was fine around other kids, was fine around adults and then all of a sudden it snapped. And why that neighbor wouldn't have said something earlier, I don't know. What happens if Junior just gets annoyed and growls at Ensley? David gonna brutally kill that him too? David is a psycho. Who sold him another dog? Whose dog is that? that? Looks like a golden doodle. Where's Junior? Who's allowing him to keep these dogs and to get more animals? I, and they're not the type of people to train. They're not the type of people to parent their kids, so why would they train a dog? You know what I mean? Like, they're such losers. Oh, I can't. Janelle is a total dumb for going back. I pray that those kids grow up and realize what dirt their parents are and become something better. Well, Janelle is more of like Jace's big sister, distant cousin, so I doubt he's gonna end up like them, but still. Can I just say I love, 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 love the fact that Kaiser wants to be a police officer when he gets older. I wonder why. Probably because um, his parents are criminals. Janelle, David, and Nathan. I'm not totally hating on Nathan, but he's not father of the year either. DUIs galore. I, eh. And I just saw that Marissa wants to be a vet. I wonder why. Because she saw what her daddy did to her dog. So she wants to take care of animals. Pisses me off so bad. It's my situation, wanting to have a kid, and I feel like I would be a pretty good mom. I really do. It's so hard to have kids. Like, I can't just go have sex and have a kid, you know? Like, it doesn't work that way for a lot of people. And to see that, like, it just... Mm. Oh, it makes me mad. One last thing before I end this video. It's obvious Janelle has put on some weight. My respect for her just like died. It's like, mm as soon as she went back to David. But, um, body shaming, really? It's 2020, you're gonna talk about someone's weight? When she was on drugs, y'all were saying she was too skinny and looked sick and was a junkie and blah, blah, blah. And now you're calling her all these mean names because she gained a little bit of weight. I personally think she looks better than she ever has. And I don't have any concerns with her like this because I don't think she's using drugs. Quit fat shaming, quit body shaming. You don't have to like Janelle. I don't like Janelle for the obvious reasons. To go at her about her weight, come on, that's so childish. I have body image issues like bad. I used to be heavy in high school. I lost most of it and I gained some of it back when I got off of drugs myself when I got clean I'm trying to get back down to where I was but in a healthy way if I saw every day thousands upon thousands of comments saying how fat I got oh my god I would be like Mike the situation and ram my head into a concrete wall to knock myself out you don't have to like you you don't have to leave these positive comments saying she's beautiful obviously she gained weight she states it all the time and it's obvious she it's bothering her i just wanted to throw that in there that just bothers me and i'm not gonna make fun of how she looks but i will say she's dumb for the decision she's made think of your kids for once please think of your kids can we can we do that i pray for those kids like i really hope that they're okay and let me tell you your tiktoks and your little Snapchat videos and Instagram videos, they're not fooling me. I highly doubt anything has changed. Let me know your opinions on this situation. If you want, I'll continue on this situation or let me know if there's any other topics you want me to talk about. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would greatly appreciate it. If you did, it would mean the whole entire world to me. Follow me on social media. I always follow back and I'm out like a boner in sweatpants and I will see you on the flip side.